Yeah, that's how veganism. Yeah, that's how we started. It kind of went off from there because she learned something. Well, I did learn some things. Different between vegetarian and a vegan. Yeah, I, I was very confused. Apparently, that happens a lot. <clears throat> no comment. Um, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> just yeah. Casual. You're the best. Innuendo. Innuendo. Where we will be talking about everyday standard products, but what we describe them and stories that maybe they'll bring a flashback of something. We're going to describe them in a very unique way. Okay? Ooh, let's start with this. Ooh, oh my god, there's stuff in it. Oh, wow. What? wow. This is a toilet and it has stuff in it. I love when people rim my bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like being watched when I'm pulling out the stream. Yeah, I just love whipping it out there. This toilet doesn't look very sanitary. There's a lot of brown splatter all over it. Yeah, I love how... I love those kind of nights. It reminds me of my brother. It reminds me of my brother's <laughs> but it has the green stuff on the side, too. It reminds me of my brother's toilet. Yeah? I'm not gonna lie. This is very fast. That was scary. Ew, if someone has a bathroom like that, they need to recheck themselves. I know, right? This isn't a way to get ahead in life. Ha! <laughs> huh. This is a shitty situation. Right? Definitely. Oh! I don't feel so <laughs> That's oh, great. That's a Wow. Oh my god, that really reminds me of my brother's bathroom. Oh lord. Amazing toilet. I love how his head just pops up and speaks to you. I like how there's no back, there's no tank to the toilet. It's tankless or there's just a hole in the ground. Or he eats it. I love a good bidet. <laughs> the, the feeling of being fresh and clean and exactly. the, the cool little splash. I'm talking about backsplash. That's different. That's when you go boop and it goes bloop. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, ooh, we got some balls. Oh, those are okay, jumbo. Actually, I'm about to eat some of your jumbo, jumbo. balls. Wow. Me too. <laughs> Intense. Look at the size of them. I know, I just only love having two of them in my mouth. Anymore, I get a little overwhelmed. <laughs> Aren't they juicy? They are. I, they are. They're some juicy balls. Let me put one in my mouth, too. They're so good. Well, now that everyone has balls in their mouth. The size of these berries are just amazing. They burst in your mouth at just the right mm. time. Mmm. Mmm. They're tender. They're epic. Mmm. Oh, man. Tender balls. <laughs> Fills every bit of my oral space just amazingly. I swallow and it's still juicy. Now you know how I feel. That's a <laughs> <laughs> Next. Head we got balls. a gun. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so small. What can he do with that small of a thing? Small things can can take you on adventures, let me tell you. I'm, I'm good on this. I'm, I'm <laughs> wow. I don't play with small guns. I'm sorry. We, uh, really, small ones are easier to manage, in my opinion. It just flips right in. That back. goes right. Yeah, it slides so smoothly. I want to feel its cocking mechanism. <gasps> wow. Wow, that was a good cocking noise. Apparently, they never cleaned one. Is it supposed to squeak like that? You need lube, apparently. Oh, oh, it went off. It got off. Wow. Are you good on the caulking? Oof, this time, yeah. Okay. I've already dealt with enough caulking for one day. Thank you. Wow. It's hard as a rock. Wow. It's, it's a little dusty. <laughs> <laughs> that just means it's old. Oh, fuck, just like, sorry, you shouldn't have my sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> just the same, huh? All yeah, wrinkly and stuff? Carl. What? Yeah, his name was Carl. He was dust. Whip it out, it's just like, <laughs> and, <it's laughs> right and it's all white. It's great. I it's... love white stuff. I love the face he makes after he releases his white stuff. <laughs> hey, this has got some girth. It right? does. Right? It's probably a grower, though, because it comes out of, of the shell, of course. <laughs> and it's just like... Whoosh. And then he goes back in when he's done, or when he's cold. Oh, it's soft. I love having a soft carpet. Oh. That's, that's a carpet? A red one, too. <laughs> it is soft. That is stunning. Soft. I cuddle with this thing 
I know. I can I feel love this. Thick. You what? I love it when like they're nice and thick. This is a little too thin for me. Oh, it's too thin. You like the girthy, like the the head on the turtle's mm-hmm. girthy. I like it. I like. I like. I like them thick. I can just imagine this rubbing you all over your body. Ooh. From your head to your unmentionables, toes unmentionables. to your assets. Oh, my assets aren't doing very good right now. Oh yeah, what's wrong? I'm poor as f- <laughs> <laughs> I this... love having a good talk. I know. His mouth is very oily. Oh my god, he's got balls in his mouth. He spits, oh look, there's shovels. He spits them out and there's shovels. There's shovels. You can scoop it. Oh my god, there's just balls coming all out of his mouth. What the hell? Is that a blue ball? No, it's it's blue red balls. Oh. Red and yellow? Ooh, I love shoveling balls. <laughs> shoveling balls. Look like at just that balls face. In the just loves wow. having the children shove their balls. <laughs> 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 Holding the bucket. Oh, the, he does have blue balls. You know what? Same. You know what? After this, we're gonna go and have some buckets of fun. Big moist bucket. I, I carry out to the garden and, and water the garden with. Really? I'm pretty sure that's a hose. <laughs> oh, I I go out there and I do that too. I release my hose to the garden. It was same. Love gardening my hose. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, again, it's also great maybe listening to with uh, no image, too, and you don't know what we're talking about. It might be very disturbing. Right. I, I think I can get down with that. Hopefully you'll join us next time on whatever the hell we're doing. I don't know yet. Literally. Hello, YouTube. Um, this episode of Peculiar Encounters. Yeah, I can't wait to get to it. Ryan couldn't make it on this this one. He was kind of busy. So we have Colton, my friend, who's joining us. Uh, he does some video game stuff with me too. So in that, he has an alias Slippy Toad. So we'll be calling you know the, the call that. That's where that's from. <laughs> <laughs> I used to walk through the woods with my dad, and we'd find like cool things out there, like abandoned cars and stuff. But other than that, not really. But. Uh, when you first pitched it, I was kind of interested just because, like, it's that sort of thing, but on a bigger level. And also, here his Ryan isn't, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I did, like, a urban explorer drive-by, I guess we can call it that, back in, like, 2014. Um, several properties just by the road or in the driveway took pictures of, but did not go into them at that time. here. It's like a whole property. You get me. This is crazy. crazy. It's like, it's an entire abandoned farmstead. Thank you. Like 
from the rim. Wow, that's deep too. You don't want to fall down there. Yeah, it looks all nasty down there too. You can tell when a place is fairly virgin to explorers. Yeah, I'm really questioning the structural integrity of this. I feel yeah. like I'm going to fall through the floor. Well, we're in the basement. So yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about <laughs> no, that. No, no, no. I mean, like, upstairs. <laughs> I know. I mean, there's that, and I'm also just worried it's going to fall. Especially the front. The front is all going to someone look up the stairs? It's like... A little midget's door. What? <laughs> sort of. You know, Are we saying we're dealing with midgets? We might be dealing with... <laughs> we might be dealing with little people. Uh, um, this house is definitely... It seems to be touched more by Mother Nature and just the elements than urban exploring. There's a dead mouse hanging by my face. There's a what? A dead mouse hanging by my face. What? There's a dead mouse hanging by my face. Um, oh my god. You just hanging. It's just out. hanging. Just hanging out. It's all dried out and shit. Poor guy. One could just say. Just hanging out. He's for hanging out. <laughs> hey, he stole my shit. <laughs> See, if we get to the uh, roadkill eulogies, this would be <laughs> one of those things where it's like, he had a good life. Hopping, jumping, and dying. Try this at home, folks. Maybe I should be nice first. I think I see a piano. Are you serious? I'm gonna kind of like hang out by the door. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Just in case. That's the piano he's talking about. This house is probably really nice back in its heyday. It looks like it would be. Oh, this piano, oh my god. That's cool. He's built up a secret passage. It's like a trap door. Or idea for this house definitely because I am thinking of composing songs in different places that we go to that they inspire me and I'm already getting things that will make us different from the other urban explorers because I've never seen <coughs> I actually like that idea yeah <coughs> we're going to places and it could be either at the end of the vlog episode or as an add, add on attachment that will go in the music video if I do that idea and it's zoomed out as far as it's gonna go. When you first knocked, I thought I heard something. I think it was just a bird. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You don't know what's underneath. All the walls from all the plaster and laths for the most part's gone and all the Yeah. I would say, Colton, if you need to shit, now's the time. I do need to pee, but not. I don't know how I feel about peeing in here. 
open the toilet and the raccoon's gonna jump out and break your jump yeah. off. Yeah. Like that. that. Or just the way of your urine makes the toilet fall through the floor. <laughs> or a wombat or some shit. Yeah. Alright, this definitely looks like something from the ring. Yeah. Pouring out for the dead homies. Samara's gonna get your ass. Probably. She probably <laughs> likes Red Bull, you don't know. This way you like Red Bull? <laughs> First place, it's pretty cool. What'd you think, Slippy? It's pretty sick. Oh my god. I don't think that's number two. You think there's somebody still living there? Uh, I'm pretty sure. That piano, of course, I saw that and I salivated. I was like, oh, I still have a piano in this place. It's kind of like, I guess for them, it was kind of the other way around. Can't leave my curtains. Can't leave my curtains. They're fing important. Fing that piano. It's a piece of shit. been empty for a long time since the fire over there. Oh. It's been 18 years ago probably. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, sorry All right. to bug you. Thank yeah. you, though. <laughs> so this house okay. that I'm at right now, I drove by this place in 2014, um, and there wasn't this construction going on. They're putting up wind, wind turbines and stuff now. But this house had grabbed me um, back then. And I made it my goal to sometime, someday return to it and actually go inside. It was on Zillow, um, and it was like it was built in 1925. Um, and the last person that sold it was like 2000. It was like in 2012 or 13, I want to say, for $500. Um, but I guess the place has been abandoned. Court, the neighbor across the street told us it's been abandoned. Shotgun shells. No oh. shit. Get that. Hmm? Oh, they did have a fire. Look at this. Casualty. Not today, Satan. Not today. Where a fire was. It's intense. Look at that. done this a time or two. Yeah. Been places where I shouldn't have been. <laughs> he said rest in peace, dead mouse. <laughs> oh, no. Well, him too. <laughs> there we go. Dish network. Treadmill. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 1970s called, they want their couch back. Rollout bed. Huh. Wow. <laughs> that was. That sounded so enthusiastic. You know that? I know. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> drove by it like 50 times. You called it. Oh, oh, Methlehem, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, being that there was RVs there that could have had methens in it, I'd prefer not to. <laughs> it's called Mexican American, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Then we decided, well, wait a minute, you know, the construction workers, they don't have really an interest in this old house. It's not their business. Their business is put up with wind turbines. Right. So why not grow a pair, you know, and go ask one of the construction workers? Well, basically just roll down the window and all you pretty much have to do is smile and be like, hey, what do you know about this? It's such a curse being pretty. <laughs> don't we know about that, Colton? Oh, yes. <laughs> Who does it? Traffic distraction. Jeez. We're a bunch of conceited <laughs> dishes right here, man. What? Yeah, so they pointed us to the people who lived across the street. Ironically, they're like, we don't know who lived there. We don't know who lived there. I mean, nobody lived in the place for like 18 years. No, oh, we're not going to call the cops. We don't give a shit. Right. right. So that was the general consensus. Wouldn't you agree, Colton? Yeah. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what... Killer encounter we have next for the abandoned side of things.